Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary Boot, the Fan TV, man. Back at you another know, video. Like the content video, smash that like button. Like the content channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, so Ravens training camp day three. Like I told y'all yesterday, I'll be in attendance today, and I was there. Got the Ravens training camp fan that they gave out every year, you feel me? And then also, they was giving out these Ravens water bottles, man. And uh, you was gonna need them. It's hot as hell today. I'm still sweating, still got me a towel right here. Um, so I know the I know the players was hot, so I know I know they was. But um, so you know how we do this, man. Uh injury, offense, defense, so let's get right into it, man. Um, being at these practices, you get like a new appreciation for how how big some of these uh you know these dudes are. And not, not necessarily the offensive the offensive linemen, defensive linemen, like you kinda expect those guys to be huge, right? Uh the one player that kinda stuck to me was Nelson Aguilar, right? Um, he was definitely bigger than I thought he was. You know, when I, when I think of Nelson Aguilar, I think of like a smaller, uh, not necessarily speed guy, but slot kind of guy. Um, but no, he's, he's, he's actually a fairly, fairly tall, built, put together. So I, I was kind of surprised by that. You know what I mean? You didn't really, uh, I didn't really expect to see that. So, um, that was, that was interesting. All right. And then Odell Beckham is by far the biggest attraction. Uh, I'm talking about kids, women, grown men. Everybody yelling for Odell Beckham, literally. It didn't matter who you were. Um, there was one dude, he was older, yeah, not older guy, nothing like that. He was probably like in his 30s, maybe early 40s, whatever. And he was trying to get Odell's attention. Odell just gave him a head nod, and that, that made his day. Odell just nodded at me, you know what I mean? So Odell is a big, big time star. Maybe one of the biggest stars Vegas have ever had um, on offense outside of like the quarterback position. You know, like Lamar Jackson is a big deal. All right, now injuries. So there's two surprises today. Uh, Zay Flowers was not out there. I really was excited to see Zay Flowers, but he was not out there at all. I still haven't seen what happened or why he wasn't out there. Um, so short, something probably will come out as I'm recording this video, but it is what it is. Uh, Ronnie Stanley also was not out there. Ronnie Stanley could just be getting a veteran type of day. I don't know, but he wasn't out there. But same pup list, Dobbins, Ricard, uh, Bateman, Bowser, Pepe, not practicing. Um, you know, a guy that I mentioned in yesterday's practice, uh, Jordan Swan, not Jordan Swan, I'm sorry, Tariq Black, the wide receiver. He was injured yesterday. He's actually back today in practice, so good for him. All right, so uh, let's get into the offense, right? Let's talk about a couple of highlights, I think, from today. Uh, James Prochet had probably the highlight of practice that wasn't a catch, all right? Um, he, Lamar Jackson throws him up a ball in, like, the left corner of the end zone. He goes up one hands. It only gets one foot in bounds, right? Um... It was a truly a great play, like full extension, one hand. Like, um, you know, Lamar had to put it all the way out to the outer because it was tight coverage. But Prochet would have made a play on it. He just couldn't get that second foot down. Um, so that was a really impressive play by him. But it was kind of part of an up and down day. He did have multiple drops after that. Um, also multiple catches. So it was kind of like an up and down day for Prochet. But he was involved a lot in the mix. Probably because a guy like Zay Flowers wasn't there today. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I thought I had some on the screen. All right. Um... Josh Johnson. Josh Johnson had uh, some back-to-back, back-to-back, nice, nice passes. Uh, one down the sideline to Laquan Trevor. It was a really nice throw. And then he had a back shoulder fade to one of the uh, rookie wide receivers. His name is, uh, I believe it's Sean Ryan, number 82. He's like a 6'3", 6'4", kind of wide receiver. Um, lanky build. Uh, he's somebody that I'll be watching out for in preseason. His number is 82 as of right now. You know, could change down the line. But... Ooh. Yeah, his number is 82. So uh, it's good plays by him and also good throws by Josh Johnson. And um, I thought Devin Dubin had a good day today. You know, he had a couple of catches in 11-11s, maybe like two, three catches. Uh, really good out route that he ran on uh, Rocky Singh. made him turn all the way around pretty much on it. Uh, Lamar Jackson put it right on the money. Um, I thought, good day for Devin Dubin, right? All right, now, you saw the title of this video. Um, that's what we're going to talk about right now. Mark Andrews is still the top target on this team. Mark Andrews is still number one. He is still the go-to guy, all right? The Ravens have all these wide receivers out here. Um, and the wide receivers are still getting the ball. Don't get me wrong. Like, the ball is being spread around pretty evenly right now, all right? But um, Mark Andrews is still the top dog, right? The practice uh, started with a pass to Mark Andrews from Lamar Jackson. They come, almost kind of ended that way. I, I left about 20 minutes early. It was hot. Beat the traffic, you know, whatever. So... From what I saw up to the last 20 minutes of practice, uh, Mark Andrews was evolved all the way out through, throughout the practice, all right? Um, he's still the guy. Uh, I think he was ranked number, what, what 80 on the top 100 list in the NFL, according to the players. Uh, I think I expect that rating to go up, you know what I mean, this year. So uh, Mark Andrews was 
all over the place. And that was pretty much the, the theme for all the tight ends, really. All the top three, at least. Uh, likely had a couple of good catches over across the middle. He had a nice one-handed catch from Lamar Jackson where he fully extended, bobbled it, and caught it, caught all the way to the ground. That was a good catch. Um, but he was just active across the middle. Uh, Charlie Kohler in the flats, he was active. He had some good stuff across the middle as well. Um, so all three tight ends were active. I know that we're going to go to an offense where wide receivers are more prevalent for sure. But I don't think the tight ends are going to be some type of um, – back seat to the offense. They're still going to be involved because they're talented tight ends on this roster. You feel me? So they still won't get they they still won't get they work. They still gonna get they work. Um another thing I noticed was the faster tempo um from today's practice, right? Guys that get they get to the line. Hold on real quick. Hold on. Alright, sorry about my door that came right here. Um so faster tempo to practice, okay? Um the Ravens were routine, routinely breaking the huddle with 20 15 seconds on the play clock, which allowed Lamar Jackson to get to the line of scrimmage and actually survey the defense and make any changes to the play that he wanted to make. All right. Um, that's something that we knew was going to be a more prevalent piece. I'm happy to see it. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, the two minute drill at the end, I thought was a little sloppy. Also, apparently after I left practice, Keaton Mitchell, undrafted free agent running back, who I talked about in yesterday's video, he broke off a long touchdown run. Okay. Um, him, and a guy like Sean Ryan, who I just spoke about earlier, these are guys to watch out for in the preseason, right? These are guys that could make names for themselves and maybe sneak on to the roster. I don't know, right? That uh, that six wide receiver spot is wide open to me, in my opinion. And the running back spot, um, I know they brought in Melvin Gordon. I know we still got J.K. and all these guys. But Keaton Mitchell could impress enough to where the Ravens felt like they got to keep him with this practice squad on 53. So we'll see about that. All right. Um defense right i felt like today was a pretty even day the defense didn't get dominated by any stretch of the imagination defense was pretty good uh, i think michael pierce had a well you know would be sack obviously you can't touch lamar jackson um he had what would have been a sack on lamar jackson um and then the second and third team defensive line were getting after the quarterbacks i mean tyler huntley judge johnson routinely had to run outside the pocket to get away from the pressure um so i was impressed from what i saw from the second and third team pass rush um, they was getting after them today. They really were. All right. Uh, hold on. Well, I tell you I'm hot, boy. Um, Marlon. Marlon Humphrey, man. Uh, tight coverage today. Really on everybody that he was up against. Uh, I don't really even remember too many passes being completed on Marlon Humphrey. He was looking like, you know, that all pro kind of guy that we know he is. Um, he's another guy who made a Ravens, on the Ravens that made up the top 100 list. I think he was around, um, 92, I think. He should be higher. You know, hopefully that happens for him as well this year. But pretty even day. The defense played good coverage. Uh, offense was pretty much, was, was pretty good, I thought. Um, I thought that there was some drops on the offensive side of the ball as we got later in the practice. That could have been some fatigue stuff. Like I said, it's hot as hell. Um, but they were sharp. Like Lamar Jackson, quick, decisive. Uh, he didn't hold the ball for too long. Um, he was taking his check downs and if we know anything about Lamar Jackson, that's been the number one thing that we want to see him work on is take your check downs, right? Because I feel like the stuff last year with the deep ball accuracy, um, at least the last couple of years, I think that's a product of, of the offense he was playing in. I expect that kind of those kind of numbers to get better. He was still great on the outside, over the middle, short intermediate, he was still good on that. But he was taking his check downs to his running back today. And that's one thing that I really, really want to see uh, Lamar Jackson do, right? Uh, go one, two, three check down like he he using he gets through all his progressions fine he's been doing that for years uh, you know what i mean get through all his progressions but um now take that check down more routinely i love it right um so yeah man that's that's my ravens um uh, breakdown for today mark andrews was dominant today the ravens tight ends as a whole were dominant today uh but the defense wasn't wasn't a slouch all right i don't want to get that misconstrued the defense played well today all right um some tight coverage and it was really good coverage a lot of times with a quarterback like a 7 on 7, the quarterback had to hold the ball three, four seconds, which is really a sack. You know what I'm saying? So um, the defense played some really good coverage on the back end. So uh, I thought it was a pretty even day uh, between a good offense versus a good defense, right? And uh, uh, like we said before, if you want the Ravens to get better, one side should not be routinely dominating the other side. It just shouldn't happen like that. And um, I didn't really see that today. It was a pretty even day of practice, so I'm happy with that. Um, so I'm going to get out of here, though. Uh, you know, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on all the videos. Man, thank you guys for watching. It's Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. I'm out.